I just used the Abbott Binox home COVID test to see if it was cool for me to cruise to Alaska. This is a really great tool for travelers and cruisers and anybody who needs a test. I'm gonna take you through the whole process. Let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with your home test walkthrough. Uh, this was an interesting experience. Uh, personally, I need this because I'm going on a cruise in two days. Uh, got to fly to Seattle tomorrow, and then I'm cruising uh, to Alaska on Princess Cruise Lines. They require a negative COVID test at embarkation that's no older than three days this week and then next week they go to no older than two days and so i did this test two days before my cruise just to see how challenging or easy it was and uh this spoiler alert it was pretty easy also spoiler alert i, I messed up during the test and it cost me money so learn from my mistakes. Uh, but uh, quick information, these tests, uh, they're labeled with RX on them. There's some tests that look exactly the same that you can get at your local drugstore. And instead of saying RX in the lower left corner, they say OTC. Uh, those are not the ones. You want the ones that say RX that you actually have to connect with somebody online to proctor the test for you. Uh, these are travel, you know, like at least cruise lines. That's what they're accepting, the ones that are proctored. And uh, that's the big thing. Mine came in a box of six they cost $150 for six tests plus $14 in shipping so I'm all in for like $164 they were overnighted and uh, I put my name and my wife's name on the account and so we can both use these tests for our future cruises uh, and they do have like a one-year expiration date on them on the outside of the box there was an update to the expiration I have to print that out so these tests stay good but uh, yeah without much further ado here's the testing process Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Tony with La Lido Loca. Here I am doing my COVID home test kit. Uh, I've got the test kit here. I'm working off of the uh, laptop so I can show you guys better. You can certainly do this with your smartphone. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but uh, here we go. I'm gonna say start testing. It's gonna ask me for my state. We are in Florida. Start testing. Uh, log in, so I do have a login. I've already set this up with Navica. You can either download the app or you can, um, you know, log in online. All right, so we're all logged in. This test will take about 25 minutes. All right, do I have an unopened test available? Yes. Uh, am, are my hands washed, sanitized, and dry? Okay, not really. Let me go do that real quick. Hold on. I'm scrubbed in. I'm ready for. I'm ready for my surgery. Jenny's back there. Wave, Jenny. You're real blurry, but people can see you wave. Huh? I said Jenny's back there. Wave, Jenny. Sorry, I was on hold. Wave. Oh, did you wave? Hi. You're real blurry. Nobody can see you, but we can see your arm moving. All right, here we go. Yes, my hands are sanitized. You will be asked to present your ID to the eMed certified guide. Do you have a valid ID? Fortunately, I do have ID right here. Uh, yes. This is not my first COVID test ever, no. Uh, what was your last COVID result? Negative. Uh, select all the reasons that apply. Traveling internationally and taking this test for re-entry to the United States is mandated. I'm not taking it for re-entry, so I'm going to be choosing none of the above. Uh, I have the opportunity to ask questions. All right, guys, you know you're supposed to read all this. I'm scrolling as if I'm reading all this. Here we go, we're reading all this. I have, perfect. I understand. Join the guided session, here we go. All right, gonna make sure that my device is ready, that's good. Uh, let's see, start. Yes, I hear the output they're playing. Uh, audio input, yes, I'm allowing it to use my microphone. Hello, hello. Check, 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 test, test, test. Can you hear me? All right, that was a success and we're checking the video. Let's see, video checking. I haven't been asked to grant it access yet. That video, it's got me video somewhere, so that's good. I don't know if it's on, I plugged in a webcam. I'm not sure if it's using which camera it's using, so. 
We'll figure it out. All right, uh, everything's ready. Are you ready to begin your test? Yes, let's start the test. I've got all my devices on power, uh, so I shouldn't have any problems. My estimated time is one minute. Wow, I didn't think it would be that quick. Perfect timing. This is 12.56 p.m. on uh, Friday. Waiting for a certified guide. Oh, here we go. I'm up next. Thank you for choosing Emet. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, I can. Hi, my name is Albert. I'll be your certified guide. Together, we will prepare and activate your test kit, okay? Perfect, Albert. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I have the name and date of birth of the person being tested? Sure. My name is Anthony Barnett, and I was born 8-22-1971. Thank you. Do you have your ID ready? ID, yeah. Let me make sure. Please hold your ID close to your device camera so I can view it. Um, it's kind of blurry though. Can you move it away slowly? Let's see. Looks like we're catching some glare. I'll start close and see if we can. Uh... Hmm. Well, let me. I'm gonna take the camera and I'll put it down and see if that does any better. Okay. Yeah. I'm just using the webcam. I think so. I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. It's not. Uh... Well, seems like it should focus. Yeah. It's really. Um, can you try to, um, uh, um, move it, um, or place it on the table yeah. or on this, then let's try to, sh there, uh, bear with me, stay there, okay, um, uh, please move it again, sorry. That's okay. I'll move. Maybe, I wonder if I need to turn light on in here. Maybe it'll help us. I um, Maybe that would help. Hold on, let me try to turn this light on. There. Okay, I hope I'm this it's gonna works. it's going to get blurry. Oh, oh, there we go. There. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Um, Just to be sure, um, Anthony, okay? Since you have um, your second name, um, Joseph, would that... um. Or would there be any problems if we continue with this test? Because the one that I'm seeing here is the Anthony Barnett. No, I think that's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. So thank you very much um, for that. So everything's cool now. So can you confirm you are the owner of the account used to log in? Yes, I am. And just in case your friend connection drops, click on the message that says click here to reconnect. Okay? Okay. So, um, please tilt your camera um, so I so that I can see your test box on oh. that surface. Is that okay? So, yeah, that's okay. Thank uh, you. Well, no. no, there we go. There. So, um, next instructions for this test will be on the screen. So, please open your test box now. Okay. There should be a sealed test card, a sealed swab, and a bottle of liquid. Okay. the card and the liquid okay so next take the test card out of its package and hold the test card in front of your device camera to scan the QR code okay
coming. Okay, I think we're having the same problem as what we have earlier. Okay, I'll put it down. Thank so you. Can get a little better shot of it. No focus. Okay. Hold on, let me try. Yeah, it's not focusing though. Uh, I thought I, I thought this was a good plan to go with the webcam, but maybe it was not. I don't know how to switch the camera at this point. Oh, there we go. Okay, there. Um, move it a little bit closer. There you go. Thank you. Awesome. So, um, the next step um, is to open the test card and lay it completely flat like an open book. Okay. Ensuring the two holes are on the right side of the card. Okay. Open the test card. Wait, and do not touch the inside of the test card or the center part, sorry. Okay. So where you can see the strip and the holes. Yes. That's the thing that we don't need to touch. Yes. So next step is to remove the cap and hold the bottle vertically half an inch over the top hole. Okay. And slowly add six drops into the top hole of the card. Please let me know when you're finished. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Finished. Then take the swab out without touching the foam. Okay. Where's the uh, bottom? Ah. Oh. It's, um, it stayed face up. It. Huh? Um, because since that would be the case, um, the liquid has already been spilled off. So we need to have another test kit for it. Okay. I do have another test kit. So I'll just okay. get, I'll get rid of all of this. Yeah, please do. Get rid of all of that. So okay. we'll just need to use a new test kit, okay? You got it. Thank you. We, oh. The computer's sitting on the box that the test kits are in, so hold on a second. Alright. Got the new... So, yep, there you go, thank you. Okay. Yeah, so just do uh, what we have done earlier. So take the test card out uh, or open the test box now. Okay. The so we need to rescan the QR code of the test card, okay? Okay. QR code. Practice makes perfect. Thank you. So it was scanned already. Okay. So same drill. Uh, open the test card. It made completely <laughs> flat, like an open book, ensuring the two holes are on the right side of the card, and do not touch the inside of the test card. Try to make it where you can see it, okay. Not drop it. All right, not touching the inside. Then take, uh, remove the cap and hold the bottom vertically half an inch over the top hole. Okay. And slowly add six drops into the top hole of the card. Please let me know when One, you're finished. Two, three, four, five, Six. Okay. Next, um, let's take this one out without touching the foam tip. All right, have the swab. So we are going to um, swab each nostril beginning with your left. 
Okay. So insert the swab at least half an inch into the left nostril and rotate five times against the sides of the nostril. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Next, do the same for the right nostril. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I need I need to see the card this time. Okay. Since we are good. There you go. So keep the card on the table and thread the swab through the bottom hole until visible to the top hole. Okay. Then twirl the swab shaft three times to the right and leave it in the card. One, two, three. Then okay. peel off the adhesive liner from the right edge of the test card. Okay. And close the left side of the card and keep the card face up on the table. All right. There you go. So in a moment, we will activate your timer. The test card must stay flat and stationary. Okay. Do not touch the test card during this time. A certified guide will be with you in 15 minutes to assist you in interpreting your results. Okay. I'll play an informational video while you wait. Okay. You are free to move away from the screen, but make sure you are back before the 15 minutes are off. All right. Thank you for the help. No worries. I'll start the timer now. Thank you for choosing Eman. All right. Thank you. That's the testing portion. Uh, we're going to jump ahead in time at the end of the timer so that we can see what happens once the timer runs out. Uh, pretty painless, pretty straightforward. I did mess up there. You know, I was working on the edge of that table trying to make sure I could film everything and probably should have been a little more mindful of the materials. I knocked the test card on the floor and that was it. Like I couldn't use that test. Boom, 25 bucks down the, down the drain. But uh, a lesson learned and I'm glad I had backup tests. So that, you know, be super careful if you only got one test or make sure that you have some backup tests. But uh, yeah, the timer keeps counting. Uh, I'll pick it up with the one minute before the timer uh, expires and you can see how this all closes out. Hello, thank you for using you. Can you hear me? Yeah, Jamie, how's it going? That's very good, okay. Anthony, thank you for your waiting once again. My name is Jaime. I'll be your certified guide together with our pet Jerusalem. Now, hold your test card in front of the vice camera to scan the screen record and also I want to see the result, please. Okay, I'm just going to hold it over so maybe I'll focus better. Just hold. Thank you very much. You can put it down. Okay. There are three possible outcomes of the test, positive, negative, and invalid. Please look at the result window. Do you see two pink lines? Uh, let's see. No, I just see one pink line where the control is. Okay, I just want to confirm. If you see one single pink line next to the word control. That's correct. You have tested negative for COVID-19. Negative oh. result may recall additional tests to confirm that you don't have COVID-19. If you have questions experienced like COVID symptoms, please call our customers of uh, your health department. Okay? Okay. Now we already submitted your test result. So please dispose your card, upper bottle, and swap into our trust test is now complete. Information about the test will be sent to your email. Your test result and digital pass will be sent to your Navica account. And 15 minutes of your time, you did not receive your test result. Please contact our customer support at 1 1173. Okay? Okay. And then, um, goodbye. And thank you for choosing email. Have a nice day and God bless you, Anthony. All right. Appreciate your help. Thanks a lot. So that's it. Uh, I don't know where to go. I'm going to go. Okay, so on my phone, it already says in the Navica app, your test results are ready. All right, so here it is. Uh, these are my test results. Uh, you can, I guess if they would accept a pass, I can add that probably to my wallet. 
uh, or I can go back and I will share or print. I'm about to share or print my test results. Uh, let's see, I think the printer is on. Print. And uh, yeah, we're gonna print these bad boys out. How about that? So what did I say I started? Like at 12.56, that only took to 1.29 and that was with me messing up. And so, uh, yeah, half an hour, I've got my COVID test results. I got the uh, I got the printout over here. Uh, now I can uh, uh, put all my paperwork together and head off to Alaska. Man, I hope you found this helpful. I had a lot of apprehension. I was nervous, obviously, but now that I've been through the process, this is so much uh, easier and convenient than trying to search for a uh, an appointment. Uh, of course, there's probably free appointments out there that people can still get, but uh, for 25 bucks to do it from the house, I feel like that's a good thing. Uh, obviously, I'll let you know if I get on the cruise ship with that, but uh, this is the test that's being recommended by Carnival and Royal Caribbean. MSC is accepting and re uh, recommending this test. So uh, for cruise lines, I think this will be a good test and uh, possibly for other travelers. Uh, what, do you, what do you think? How, how did this process seem to you is this something that you could do uh you know i would say do it with a smartphone not with all this setup that i had but uh, i think it would be an easier process uh thank you so much for watching the show please hit the like button i hope you're subscribed this is tony with la lido Loca, and until the next time we'll see you on the lido bye